Dermot Carney reporting on the Shamrock Rovers' victorious tie this evening in Tala Stadium as they recorded a 3-1 win over Scoopy. It is a fantastic result for them, which sees them just one remain one step away, of course, from Europa League qualification. A late strike from Gary O'Neill, resounding strike, sent the house into raptures in Tala. And that goal, of course, giving them a big two-goal advantage ahead of the second leg. The opening half was very much in their favour. Andy Lyons was brought down in the area after just 12 minutes. Upstepped Graham Burke and he dispatched the spot, the spot kick low beyond the goalkeeper. Despite him going the same way, the ball did ripple into the back of the net. They did, of course, increase their advantage just before the half hour mark. Another great chance by them, but it was Dylan Watts, not a striker, not a striker by trade, but definitely with the finish that he displayed this uh, for the for the for their second goal, definitely could be used as a striker if needed by Stephen Bradley. Going into the second half, it was the visitors who had a great uh, couple of chances. Alan Manis in fantastic form all evening. The Shamrock Rovers faithful singing his name at full time, knowing that the shot stopper definitely, definitely kept them in the tie, making a good couple, a good couple of saves throughout the half. But he was beaten in the 70 sec- 77th minute as Quevin managed to beat him with a thunderbolt from range. Just as it looked like the visitors were going to get something out of the game, they were reduced to 10 men and did play the final six minutes with a man down. And just as it looked like they had done just enough, bringing on a, another defender laid on to, to take a 2-1 uh, defeat back home to Macedonia. Gary O'Neill with a, a peach of a curler outside the area into the top right-hand corner. And it finishes in Tallis Stadium this evening. Shamrock Rovers 3, Scoopy 1.